Humane's new AI pin caused a lot of skepticism around the functionality, the price tag, and the overall purpose of the device. The biggest issue is that people hate talking to computers in public. It also says that the amount of almonds has 15 grams of protein, which would actually be like 50 almonds. How much protein? These almonds have 15 grams of protein. Great. I'm gonna eat it. Humane's AI pin probably can't replace your phone. Humane is clearly trying to disrupt how we operate with our personal devices. So let's explore the basics of Humane first and compare it to previous disruptors in the past, successful and unsuccessful ones. Number one, the mission is this. We believe in building innovative technology that feels familiar, natural, and human. Kind of vague, but okay, I think from the product features so far, I will extrapolate that we're trying to reinvent the personal device that assists us. And we're hoping that eventually people will switch from having a mobile phone with a screen to their pin. And who's behind Humane? The Humane founders are two ex-Apple people, Imran and Bethany. They also hired a bunch of people from Fang, from like a lot of top tier companies, so great. And let's check out what resources were available to them. So time-wise, they started in 2017, which gives them a total of six years before release when they started working on it. Money-wise, they raised a seed round in 2019, a $30 million Series A led by Sam Altman and Lashy Groom, a $100 million Series B, and another $100 million Series C, which is a total of $230 million. And if Sam Altman is still at OpenAI, the partnership with OpenAI is also considered a key resource for them. So with all this time, money, talent, resources, people are upset that the hype only led up to this point. A close-ended device that doesn't allow other developers to come in, a really poor price point, and a lot of the information that's being fed from that device can easily be fed to you via an Apple Watch instead. Okay, so let's compare it with three previous disruptors, starting with the iPhone. When the first iPhone got announced, it challenged a lot of themes that were current at the time in the mobile phone space. $499 for a phone that only had 2G when all the other competitors already had 3G. It had no flip, which its most consumer-friendly phone had. And it, and it looked a little bit too ambitious with just one button in the front and just a ginormous screen and the sleek design. On top of it, it didn't have a keyboard for business users. Here's what Steve Ballmer had to say about that. So that is the most expensive phone in the world, and it doesn't appeal to business customers because it doesn't have a keyboard, which makes it not a very good email machine. So similar to Humane, even though the product was exciting, some people were definitely skeptical. Okay, let's move on to the Tesla Roadster, the first Roadster. Uh, it was entirely electric, 250 miles per range, and a $109,000 sports car. The New York Times acknowledged the fact that despite it being a nice car, it would sort of need to swim against the river because of a lack of resources for electric cars to exist in the current way we function. Similar to Humane, when Tesla released their first Roadster, the infrastructure around charging your vehicle or getting your battery replaced was barely there. But Tesla, the company, had a vision where they needed the future to be fully electric and they knew that they needed to work with time and with the resources that they had until everything catches up and the future becomes what it is today. Lastly, let's look at the Google Glass. Google priced the Google Glass at $1,500 and showed a crazy demo. But when people started inquiring more, they realized that there's a lot of skepticism and a lot of privacy issues that can come up from having a camera stuck to your face. The term glass holes got coined and Google had to discontinue making the device in 2015, despite the initial excitement in 2012. If we're to compare Humane's AI pin to the Tesla Roadster or the first iPhone, we can tell that they are releasing a very ambitious product without the technology being there yet. With the first iteration of a Humane AI pin to be a very close-ended device, there's a lot of hope that with future developments in technology around AI, around computer vision, around natural language processing, more of these little kinks around the first AI pin can be worked so that the future iterations can actually be brilliant. But if we are to compare the Humane AI pin to the Google Glass. Google sought to reshape the industry and human behavior. Yet the struggles of finding mainstream acceptance, the social awkwardness element, and the lack of clear use cases of what this device meant to regular consumers should a clear disconnect between its futuristic vision and the practical realities of user experience. So what does the ideal future look like if Humane was to become successful, where this becomes the natural assistant for humans? When do we expect to live in a her-like future or a Black Mirror-like future? Do we stop using our iPhones in the next five years? Based on the disruption timelines of other disruptors, 
here's where we're at. We had the first product launch and in the midst of skepticism, the first few early adopters are jumping into the product while everyone else is trying to stay away from it. Humane is going to be stuck in a feedback loop of just understanding how people are using the device and whether this is actually being helpful to them. Based off of that, we can really understand where to take this device. So there's also a need to increase their user base by maybe lowering their price point but also being more accessible to the deaf, the mute, or blind people. And to be able to sell and become a mainstream product in the United States at least, you probably want to be able to sell your device at most of the network careers. There are still so many unknowns to also track out for this product and this category of products to begin with. Is this product gonna cause a shift in human behavior and how humans interact with the world? Is this product gonna embed itself into culture? Are competitors gonna join the market and make this more exciting? Only time can tell, but this journey is not only about the evolution of a product, but the value that it brings to its users. Alright, thanks for watching.